anthropological studies, cross-cultural studies have shown that in societies where children are held more, they're rocked, they're nursed, and they're massaged, the children become adults who are more compassionate, more cooperative, and much less aggressive. So there is evidence that shows that infant massage can be beneficial in shaping the child to be the kind of adult that everyone wants their child to be. It's a means of communication with that baby. It's not something you do to the baby. It's something you do with the baby. So the whole time you're massaging the baby, there's that eye-to-eye -eye contact. You're watching the baby and listening to the baby and processing what the baby's saying to you, essentially through actions and noises, and responding to the baby so the baby gets that reassurance that mommy or daddy is hearing me and listening to me and respecting what I want. If you see that the baby's uncomfortable with it or it's a little too much for him initially, you hear it, you watch for cues, you watch for the, his face to avert or um, maybe hiccuping or something like that, and you respect those wishes, and you stop for the moment. Hug him, um, caress him, and then resume, and if it's still a little too much, then you wait for the next day and you do it. But eventually, this becomes something the babies are conditioned to, so that as soon as you see, as soon as they see you rubbing oil on your hands, or they feel the blanket that they're always on when they're massaged, they know what it means, and they bought their body just relaxed. It's a conditioned response. And it's something that they'll remember their whole life, how to relax, which is a great gift in itself. We start with just resting our hands to calm the baby and calm the mom. The baby senses your relaxation. And then we start with the leg, with oil on our hands. We take one leg, and we go up and down with some pressure. It's not a light touch, a feathery touch would be very irritating, but with some pressure. Do that several times. Then you go up to the thigh and you just do circles on the muscles in the thigh. Then you take the leg and you squeeze the leg muscles as you come down to the foot several times. Then you cup the leg, pulling as you're doing this. And you're squeezing the muscles as you're pulling on the leg, giving it some traction. You go to the foot. There are a lot of reflexology points in the foot, so we fan the foot out covering all those points. Turn the foot over and go up. Take the ankle and just move the joint around. Do little circles around the ankles with your thumbs. Take each toe and knead it as if it were a little pea and pull on the toe. Babies especially like this. And the whole time it's so important to be talking to the baby eye contact with the baby, singing to the baby. You can do this little piggy went to market with the toes. Then you come back down and you hold the ankle, cup your hand into a C, work your way down the leg. And then you take the leg as if it were a piece of Play-Doh and just rub like this. Totally relaxes the baby and finish off like that. When you finish the second leg, put, your feet to, put the baby's feet together down to the belly button. And this is a good time to sing and laugh and do that a couple times, a little stretch. Pull on the legs a little bit. Then you take the one leg, toes to the belly button, reach under the baby, and just give a nice massage on the baby's back, up along their spine, along their bottom. And then relax, do that with the other leg. Massage along the spine and along the bottom. Take both legs, squeeze the muscles, pull down. Rock the baby with your hands under its buttocks. And then just hold and relax and proceed with the rest of the massage. If your baby has colic, this is a routine you can follow. You can just put your hand on the baby's tummy and rock it. Rock it rocking is always a way of relaxing a person, whether it's a baby or an adult. Then you, this is called a water wheel motion. You go from their rib cage down to their pubic bone with some pressure, just hand after hand, like that. You take their legs and bring their knees up to their tummy and you press but not too hard. You hold that for a few seconds. Bring it down. Then you take your hands and you go in a circle, always clockwise. Around and around again with pressure, 
So you're helping to relieve any gas problems the baby has. Then you take the knees and again, up to the chest, hold it, release, hold it, release. So do those four steps three times and do it twice a day.